everyone, my name's Meredith, and I'm Robert, and today we're going to tell you about a very influential woman. Her name is Laverne. Um, Mel? Lexi. Mel? Elizabeth. Lydia. Now, Lydia lived Philippi. Oh, Philippi. Is that like Build-A-Bear, but for pies? Uh, no. It's a Roman colony in Macedonia. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Anyway, one day, Paul came to Philippi because Lydia lives there. Anyway, Lydia was a merchant. She sold fabric. What kind of fabric, Robert? Uh, blue. No. Orange. No. A deep red. You know, like red velvet cake. That color. Silk. Not exclusively silk. No, she sold purple fabric, which was very expensive at the time because the dye was made from precious seashells, which were very hard to come by. So the only people that bought the purple fabric were the very rich. So Lin Lydia had a lot of connections with very rich people. And like 500 cars. Lydia was also one of the few people in Philippi who knew about and worshipped God. Oh, sweet man. She invited Paul into her house. Come on in. And God opened her mind so she would listen to what Paul was telling her about Jesus. After she heard what Paul had to say, Oh, I know, she went swimming! Cause she was just so excited and she wanted to celebrate! Um, no? Uh, she went surfing cause those waves, bruh. Um, no? Fishing cause the story made her crave fish? No! She and her whole family Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Afterward, Lydia used her gifts and her connections to help spread God's word through the world. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. But you can do similar things. Or the same thing, I suppose. We need to open our minds to hear what God has to say to us. We can absorb all of the good news he has to share. Oh. What are you doing, Robert? Sound effects. Yeah, no. Don't do that. We also can use whatever gifts we have for Linda. That, uh, sorry, Lydia. <laughs> that was her, her connections. But for us, that could be a talent or a situation. I'm gonna go buy tickets to Philippi. <laughs>